cause of piracy during the golden age of piracy. Blackbeard versus Bartholomew Roberts versus Charles Vane versus Calico Jack. Ready? Begin. I'm a pretty cruel guy. I'll whip your ship shape. Try to flee your mutiny. I'll hang your arse with scotch tape. I sailed the West Indies, riding dirty on Ranger. Invade your frigates, putting all your sailors in danger. I plunder all the booty, and I swash the buckle. <laughs> I sunk an armada, and I still got a chuckle. My cold bars deplete you of vitamin C. So much pirate, you gon' get the scurvy. Can't shoot me, already hanging on the gallows. I'll kick you off the plank, right into the shallows. My name is Calico Jack. I'm about to throw this whole battle out of whack. My crew had two females, which none of you fools could say. All your attacks turn into huge fails. I'll destroy your ship in Pirate Bay. My fashion sense ain't nothing to play with. My use of Calico isn't just a myth. I fly the flag with the skull and crossbones. I'll make you sleep with the fishes. Down with Davy Jones. Now make no scrutiny about my mutiny. That moron of a captain, Charles Vane, caused his crew members too much pain. And that's where I came in, the former quartermaster. I went and turned that situation into a disaster. Man, you're so salty, just like the ocean. You're such a bad captain. You deserve a demotion. Hey now, Jack. At least I've got some authority. When you dress so eccentric, you're in the minority. My big ship pulls in all the wenches, when the only women you hang around both have stenches. Colonel Roberts is my name, capturing merchant ships is my game, but 400 ships I've acquired, it's no wonder I'm so admired. My career started when my captors died, but from the pirating game I never shied. I raided from the Africa to the Caribbean, stealing from all the European. Though my part in history is insignificant, I'm the richest of them all. You can call me magnificent. Haha, <laughs> it's me, Blackbeard. Oh, what a surprise. Just be careful not to look right into my devilish eyes. Some call me the High Seas Caesar, or the King of the Caribbean. They even call me the Spanish, but even they were fleeing. My black flag has turned into something people don't want to be seeing. I control these seas, took over a wealthy merchant ship, uh, sailed it over the Carolinas, and threatened to hang and whip. All oh, these poor Brits, they almost didn't make it. But luckily for them, we got what we wanted, and we were dead and decapitated. I won't leave them haunting. Blackbeard, you're a dying flame. You should be crying in shame. No improvements have you made to this age of illegal trade. Articles have I written about how you live in. So come at me with your worst. You can shoot me, you can sing me, but I'll always hit first. Charles Vane was an English pirate who was active during the Golden Age of Piracy. Vane distinguished himself by his unrepentant attitude towards piracy and his cruelty to those he captured. After being abandoned by his own crew, he was arrested and hung. Calico Jack Rackham, a pirate during the 18th century, earned a nickname from a colorful calico clothes he wore. Originally quartermaster under Captain Vane, the crew mutinied after Vane refused to battle a French ship and they appointed Rackham as their new leader. After he took command, they defeated the French vessel and Rackham suggested that they become pirates and the crew agreed. Was uh, They were offered a king's pardon that he accepted but lost it when he entered a love affair with fellow pirate Anne Bonny. He attempted to give himself up to uh, for the clemency of Bonnie and another female pirate, Mary Reed, and he was brought to trial along with six of his crew on November 16th, 1720, and was hanged with most of his crew the next day. Bartholomew Roberts captured and captured 463 ships, created a set of articles that stated things like how to behave and operate a vessel, and basically how to be a pirate. He died by cannon fire, and he had raids in Africa, the Americas, and as well as the Caribbean. He was Blackbeard Blackbeard was a reign of fear. 
that lasted two long years. Blackbeard and his crew pirates terrorized sailors on the Atlantic Ocean in the Caribbean Sea from 1716 through 1718. They ambushed ships carrying passengers and cargo in the dim light of dawn and dusk when the pirate ships were hard to see. The pirates often determine a ship's nationality first, then raise that country's flag or the pirate ship so they appeared to be friendly, and then at the last moment rose Blackbeard's flag. Merchant ships often surrendered without a fight the second they saw Blackbeard's flag because of the mystery and fear surrounding Blackbeard and his crew.